So, here we go again. You notice on the thumbnail, this is about Havoc, where he gets prettied up and ready for the summer. Right before we get into that, we end up finding a greenhouse nearby. We end up showing a pinch of what's to come. And yes, I've already been back since I posted this. Just to say, this is all about Happy Paws Ruin and Havoc. So, as always, enjoy the show. Hey, Mr. Poppy. I'm having to take my daughter to go do some testing at a place. And once I hit the permanent location, there's a greenhouse right across the street I am I was unaware of. And uh, I'm going to see if uh, they'll let me in and maybe do a little video. We're going to do all the proper ways of introducing ourselves before we just walk in and start filming and stuff, if you know what I'm talking about. Other than that, let's get to it. Havoc, uh, let Havoc take care of himself real quick. Put him back in the truck and uh, yeah, this is the greenhouse right here. We'll go check it out, see what's going on. Okay, so I ended up going in and uh, talked to uh, one of the owners. This place is called Johnny Appleseeds and I've heard about it quite a bit. I just didn't know exactly where one of the, uh, the, the main uh, store is. This is a locally owned business, been around 50 plus years. And uh, I know where their farm is or where they actually, you know, grow out all their plants before they sell them. Um, I thought it was the same spot, but apparently not. So, uh, yeah, I got the green light to come in and do some filming. Right now they're low on some stuff, but even though I got shocked and uh, wide-eyed on some of the plants that are in there and just how pretty they are. But uh, I'm going to wait since uh, this is my first introduction <laughs> to... A meet and greet with the person that owns this you know part of, partially owned or whatever uh, yeah they said feel free to come on in and uh, record so that'll be on my agenda here in the next couple weeks uh, once they start getting more in like she told me and uh, that's where we're at on that hey what's going on Havoc and I are uh, getting ready to go see Happy Paul's grooming Kim and Andy and uh, we're gonna figure out what we're about to do with him right now. Excuse me, y'all need a ride? And there's Kim shaving him down. Yes, it's that time. That's what we're doing now. We done talked about it. This is Andy Carrico, yes. And Kim Carrico, yes, uh, related in some ways. It's just another story. Yeah, we shaving him down. We're not doing lion this year. If you want to see lion, you can go back on one of my other videos. Look at that wool. Yes, we're gonna build a shirt out of you, a sweater, maybe a whole outfit. If you wanna get lion, this is about as close as you're gonna get for this year. Yeah. <laughs> yep, look at that. Look at that, Havoc is gone. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. Get ready to get a, get, go get a bath. <laughs> yes, I'm putting that in the vlog, too. No. Look yeah. at this puppy. Look at him. Oh my gosh. Look how beautiful. Look at, oh, he is so soft. My gosh. I'm telling you, Andy and Kim gave him what I call the AK special. Yes, they were shooting everything at him. And I'm telling you, 
That is freaking awesome. You guys did an awesome job. I'm giving them treats. Look at that buddy. Thank you guys so much once again. Now, I just want to ask, okay? Because this dog came in here with like a bunch of fur on him, okay? Triple thick chow retriever, okay? And we shave him down, okay? And there's a lot of people out there that don't understand thinking that shaving down dogs are a bad thing. This dog is 10 plus years old and we've shaved him every single year of my life. I don't really have the proper lingo to explain it as a professional or these professionals do. In my experience, I believe that, oh, it's not. No, go ahead. Okay, that it's safe to do as long as they're well maintained, they have a good diet. It's the shaving that if they're constantly, continuously, every time you see them shaved, that can ruin their coats a little bit. But if they're maintained, if they look, you know, this good, if they get baths in between, you're using good products on them. That's huge. Good products that maintain their coat, they will be fine. Where you run into problems is if they have an underlying medical condition, that will change a coat on any dog. Um, but you maintain them, you shave them down, you give them a good bath with decent products, you keep them healthy and clean, and you're gonna get a coat like this that's soft, fluffy, and grows back just fine. Exactly. Now, a lot of times when you do get dogs in here, especially from where we live and outside dogs, what do you tend to find when you go to groom a dog, you know, with thick fur? <laughs> yeah, so around here we get goat heads, we get um, cheek grass or foxtails, as some people call them. We get burrs, cockle burrs, um, all sorts of uh, um, the sap, the sapling seeds that stick to their coats. All yeah. sorts of thistles brush, twigs will even uh, mat up in their, their yeah. fur. And some of those can bury into the skin underneath that coat and you will never know under those long coats and can cause an abscess or infection if not found. And this is why we do this to our dogs. Not only just for, for all those medical reasons, but man, is he going to enjoy it for the summer as well, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And uh, thank you once again, Kim and Andy, like I said, I call this the AK special because they truly do. The moment they get a hold of their do uh, the dogs, even Havoc, they've known this dog for years, okay? They were rubbing over his body, not just to pet him and stuff. They were feeling for lumps, different uh, for scratches. Even through the paws, they were feeling for extra little seeds that get embedded in some, some animal's paws, checking the toenails, the teeth. They just make sure they do a good job on all the animals that they take care of in their grooming. And uh, I felt like it's worth sharing all that, not just the, you know, the extra content of seeing how pretty and how beautiful this doggy comes out, but also a little bit of the uh, reasons behind uh, some of the grooming that it's not just a, a, a prep and pretty thing, you know, for dogs. You know, especially when it comes to both of these women in here. They check these animals out and want them to be healthy. And if they find anything, like somebody taking a car to a dealership, you know, to get worked on, they let the owner know, hey, we found a lump, you know, and we wanted you to know it's under the left shoulder or something. They were telling me a story on like on that with an animal. And the uh, owner actually had to go get that lump removed on that animal. And, uh, you know, I believed it saved that animal's life. It was cancerous. Uh, so yeah, that's it with them. Happy Paul's grooming. Thank you once again, girls. Look at that. Yes, handmade tie. Handmade tie, yes. Comes with the puppy. Happy Paul's grooming. Oh yes, see? Happy Paul's. He's happy. It speaks for itself. Thank you. And that's right on that. Catch you on the next flip flop. Ha, <laughs>